Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another YGO uh, Pro gameplay here. Uh, you know, we're gonna watch the trailer as always, and then uh, if you want to stick around and see what's going on, play by play, and you have like an hour to kill, go for it. If not, sit back and relax, enjoy. So it's my zombie versus uh. Six Samurai. All right, let's go. Alright, <clears throat> so that was it. So, if you uh, just came here to watch the thing, that's that's what happened. That's how it went. 
so here you know we're gonna go of course we're gonna go check out the deck so here is my deck that I'm playing of course you know uh, you know I've been playing all monsters since this bad boy came out uh, Gallus uh, the star beast here says you can you can reveal this card in your hand send the top card of your of your deck to the graveyard then if it had it was a monster inflict damage to your opponent equal to the uh, level by 200 and special summon this card from your hand otherwise destroy this card the good thing about this it only checks when you when you uh when you reveal the card from the top of your deck so where it lands it doesn't care if it goes in a graveyard or banished let's say if they had like a you know dusty hero uh, dark law or whatever or e hero i don't know what his name is but whatever that monster is it'll just get banished but uh, they'll still take the damage so if you hit them with like you know a spear mode which is a level 10 that's 2000 i want to get yeah i do want to get two more of these this is 11 so that would be 2200 and that could be game you know when people have running three solemn three solemn strike three solemn judgment you know um things like that yeah so it could you know it could it could win this game like i said a lot of times it's luck um otherwise we are it, the deck is in the description i'm just gonna pan through it okay uh it's in the description so you know you can check it out but uh only thing is i change a couple cards from uh, yesterday's duel which is uh um my zombie versus uh fire fist the reason is because of this bad boy right here Koki the big daddy of the mall this guy Koki the giant ogre he is a giant ogre of a beast I tell ya okay he's a link 4 cannot be destroyed by battle and is unaffected by the activated effects of your opponents monsters would attack less than or equal to to this card okay <clears throat> when your uh, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets this card and or a monster this card points to quick effect you can make this card lose exactly 500 and then if you do negate the activation if you do it negate the activation once per duel or uh, once per turn if this card's current attack is different from its original attack quick effect you can make this card gain 1000 until the end of the turn so pretty much he can negate one of your crap go down to 2500 then he can when you attack since the 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 attack or defense or whatever changes you can use that bad uh damage step so you can say attack damage step use effect increased by a thousand so it'll be at 35 and it's permanent doesn't say to uh, gain 1000 until the end of the okay until the end of the turn so he can be killed if you can but i mean yeah we'll see we'll see what's up so that's the reason why I put this bad boy in here. It's a uh, army arm. It says one tuner. It's a level four. One tuner. One non tuner. I can make it with uh, any of these guys. Escape ghost or uh, glow up bloom. At level one. Plus my gallus. He automatically one hundred percent will come out. So that's a level four. I get to him. So let's say he was in the extra deck. I could do my gizmak uh, mirachi. Maki. Makizuchi, Maki, Maki, Mikazuchi, the nuclear emperor, but he's only 2750. But if I equip him with the uh, army arm, he'll be he'll gain he gains a thousand. Okay, plus whatever the monster I destroyed, they take damage equals the monster's uh, attack. All right, so he's you know whatever the attack is in the graveyard of the monster original attack. 
I could equip it to my Doom Kaiser too, or Doom Doom Kaiser, Doom King Ball Ball Throb. Uh, that's about it. Or any of uh, my Gizmac can get over. So yeah, no, no big deal, you know. Uh, yeah. Even that one for one, these are all machines. But if that one for one, I'll just equip it to my zombie. So there's ways out. And then uh, with him, we can get a bunch of uh, scapegoats, black sheep token, and then we can go into you know. Uh, I don't have um, you know. I don't really think um. Can I think Boros sword can get over it? I don't know if it targets him. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not gonna chance it. So I'm doing this guy because he gains 200 for every, uh, 200 for every link monster in the graveyard, meaning yours and uh, opponents. So we got we got plenty of uh, link monsters. So all we need is three, and he'll be at 32. So he'll get over that guy. Other than that, um, that's yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I changed. Uh, oh, and the Reaper here. Uh, a lot of times I'll have this guy, you know, in the uh, because I don't have Zombie World, so Zombie World will make any any monsters on the field become zombie. Since I don't have that, so I have to rely on uh, Reaper. Plus, I get to see the extra deck, you know, because Reaper. If they have more monsters than you, you can just you know shoot it to the graveyard. You know, you could um, you can discard this card to the graveyard. You know, reveal one of these bad boy, and then get to see the extra deck. Yeah, see what they're, they're playing with. And then you can plan from there. Uh, Yeah, if I have three, I would get three. I would probably take the escape ghost out and maybe a disc. I'd probably take this and uh, escape ghost out. I don't know. We'll see. Or oh, one of these. Goblin out or... You know, I mean, there's ways. You just gotta play with it and just style, you know. Plus here, if I get another two more of them, I'll put that in. Because he's a free uh special, you know. Anyway, let's go uh, check out our freaking duel. First what we do is we turn the sound down. Because we don't want to mess with the sound. Put the card info back up. Alright. <clears throat> so he gets to start. Alright. So draw phase, standby phase, main phase 1. He plays a spell card. So a spell card you can play at any time. Trap card you have to set it first. And then you can play it on your next turn. Or... During your opponent's turn, so you have to wait one turn. So a spell card, you can, as you can see, he plays a lot of freaking, uh, you know, spell cards. So, but you know, a lot of times I don't really pay attention too much to the combo deck. That's the reason why I'm making a, uh, I'm making a uh, video like this. It's pretty much to teach myself, pretty much, but then have an excuse to, to share it, you know, to everybody else that might want to. Uh, might want to, uh, you know, learn. Uh, you know, hope hope it, you know, helps you out and stuff. So, anyway. He plays a Sheen Smoke Signal. It says add one level three or lower six samurai monsters from your deck to your hand. A lot of their spell card searches. But there is only one card you have to worry about. The only one card you have to worry about is this bad, but that's the reason why it's only at one here in uh, TCG, which is this bad boy. Okay, we'll read it when he gets it. See, he's only one. I think in the uh, OCG, which is in you know Japan, China, Singapore, Philippines, all those, they have three of those. <clears throat> so I um. Got too excited because I got my spear mode. If I didn't have my spear mode, I would just surrender. It's just how it is, you know. If you can't play, what can you do? I don't want to sit and watch this. Unless I'm making this video. I have one out right here to slow him down. It would have been uh, different. But I got too excited. So uh, he did that and I jumped the gun. Because, you know, Ash Blossom is the best hand trap. So when a card or effect is activated that includes any of these effects quick effect um yeah so he did add a card from the deck to the hand so i'll negate that in special summon from the deck send a card from this deck to the graveyard you can only use this uh, 
uh, as far as enjoy springs. Okay, remember this once per turn, which none of the um, six samurai cards have. If you look on a, at the end of it, there's not one card that says once per turn. See that? See it? See what I'm saying here? So it feels good to beat decks like that because especially my deck, you know, they, we we do a couple of things, but not, not not too, you know, not too crazy, nothing crazy. So you you saw the uh, trailer. So uh, I want to get that, and then he plays um, Shien's Dojo. Each time a six samurai monster or a uh, normal. Or special summon, place one Bushido counter on this card. You can send this card to the graveyard. Special summon one, six samurai. Or Shin, effect monsters from your deck. Whose level is less than or equal to the Bushido. So right now he has, he doesn't have anything. So, uh, no big deal. Okay, so now he normal. Remember, when you play against decks like these. To remember if he or she normal summon already, okay. Which this is a normal summon, okay? You can special summon as many as you want, but remember, there's only one normal, okay? So he got unless there's a card that lets you, um, as you can see the yesterday's video in the fire fist, uh, the fire formation tensu lets him do another extra normal summon, okay? Those that deck and this deck, a lot of decks like that, they 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 rely a lot on spell cards. You know, dark magician. Like I love Yu-Gi-Oh, I love dark magician, but. I just don't like how the style of it, you know, like, you know, like, you know, depend. You gotta rely on your uh, continuous trap card and spell cards to banish things, and you know, I I just like all oh, monsters. Monsters are the best, best effects. All right, so this guy <clears throat> pretty much played this card. Like, let's say you went second because this one lets you um. If your opponent controls a monster and you don't know monster, you can special summon this guy. But since he's going first, he has to normal summon it. You see? Because I don't, if he went second, he can special summon that and still have his one normal summon. Okay? So you can special this normal summon, get two Bushido token, and then go, go off on his shenanigan, right? So he'll do that, and he gets one Bushido counter and that thing. And now he plays this, this one, um... Uh, target one six samurai monster you control special sum summon one six samurai monsters from the deck with the same attack but different names and if you do destroy it during the end phase of this turn which is not going to get destroyed because they're going to link off or whatever etc so he's gonna have to get a 400 attack with different name than this card from the deck So he gets this one, uh, Ka Kajimusha of the Six Samurai. So during either player's turn, when exactly one face-up Six Samurai monster you control is targeted for, by a spell card, trap card, or monster's effect that could have targeted this uh, this card, you can activate this effect that spell and trap effect now target this card card this face up card on the field instead so he's like a uh you know kind of like in in the you know like in a samurai or ninja or whatever they always have these guys that like you know like bodyguards that take the bullet for the boss so he's one of the cronies that's why he's only 400 attack he's got a big ass uh defense though he's got a nice defense but uh he's not too much of an attacker he's just a uh, so yeah, then now he gets uh, another Bushida counter because uh, you know Six Samurai with Shin came out. So then he's going to uh, link for a. You need two warrior for this bad boy or bad girl. This bad girl is Soli the Two Tails. So pretty much, um, you could you get a uh, monster uh, warrior to your hand. Let's see, what were we anyway? Why not? If this card is linked someone you can add one warrior monster from your deck to your hand. So it means like any warrior, you know? Just a warrior. But for the rest of this turn, you cannot normal summon set or special summon monster with that name. Nor 
activate their uh, monsters effects you can send any number of equip spells with the different names from your deck to the graveyard special summon one warrior monster from your deck whose level equals the number of spells set so I send to this graveyard you can you can only uh, use this uh, effect of the ISO two tails of the thing once per turn once per turn is because this is a newer card okay so six samurai when they came out you know there was no such thing so yeah pretty much so he's gonna what he's gonna do is he's just going to use a uh, search whatever and then he's just gonna pretty much use it to pitch it in the graveyard you know for some kind of effect because you can't use the effect or special or normal or whatever this card so we're not gonna read him because you don't, don't care so now he'll use his second of uh his second effect and dump as many uh spell that's the reason why um a lot of the noble knight cards they use a lot of uh, equip spells you know and um so you could break because you could just draw like five equip spell cards then you lose you know what i mean i mean especially against my you know all monster deck i mean you need monsters to attack spells are good to to um you know to to further your uh, combos to make a bigger bigger and bigger and uh monster and then traps are to slow the opponent down you know uh dwindle dwindling dwindling their uh, effects down you know so yeah so that's why i don't like to both of those don't not my style i'm not just about just come on you know like you know, like like think of the war, you know, back in the day, like the medieval days, where they have hundreds of soldiers just lining up face to face, and they just charge, you know, and just bah, 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 with swords and shields and spears, and you know. I mean, nowadays, you know, two thousand twenty is like, hey, I'll send my drone up there with a couple of you know scud missiles, and I'll just shoot you down like uh, fifty thousand feet in the air, and then uh, you know. Just then, uh, yeah, then you're dead. <laughs> What's the fun in that, right? There's no risk. No risk, no reward. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get on with this. You know what I mean? Alright, so now uh, he's going to get a level 1 because he only sent 1 of this. So now he gets this one. Secret 6 Samurai Fuma. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can't special summon one six samurai monster from your deck, except six, except secrets of the six samurai Fuma. If exactly one six samurai monster you control, and no other cards would be destroyed by card effect, you can banish this card from the graveyard. So uh, if you had you know one six samurai here and you had this in the graveyard. Instead, he he's like another you know another bullet taker. Him and uh, <clears throat> him and uh, Seeker of the Six Samurai and Fuma, uh, they bunk bed together with uh, Kachimusa of the Six Samurai because you know those bunk bed they they get rotated because you know never know which of them gonna take a uh, you know the bullet in the head for their boss. That's the price of being loyal. It's the loyalty life of a crime boss. So, uh, another thing I don't like about a lot of these decks is, uh, in the end, you saw the you saw the preview of the the video. In the end, where is the six samurai boss? Where is the six samurai boss? Wait, oh, there he is. That's the only boss you got. He's 2,500, 1,400 defense. And he can negate spell or trap card. Compared to freaking Borrow Load Savage Dragon. You know, he negates all kinds of goodies. And he negates trap. He negates spells. And he blow up spells and trap card 
and he negates graveyard and this guy he got three things he, uh, you can draw you can make like an attack or something I don't know we'll read it later uh, yeah he can uh, yeah and then this guy can destroy the back row uh, this guy he comes up with a thousand attack come on how many counters do you have to get to get him to be like and then one effect Vela and he's done you know what I mean or impermanence uh, and, and of course, you know, the $100 card, unless you get a starlight or, you need to call it pris, prismatic, uh, thing, but now it's called starlight, you know, um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's pretty much the boss, and this guy lets you circulate your cards, these guys, they pretty much like, uh, answer, you know, like you, you know, you need to go collect your uh, your drug money or whatever from the the local merchant or the you know uh, extort him. You send these guys. You send the thousand I restrict, and then uh, or if you don't want him to do, uh, you know, whatever. <clears throat> Once returned during either player's turn, you can target one face-up monster on the field, change it to face-down defense. So if you have any uh. Monster that's giving you a uh, effect, uh, you know, problem, you just bring him out. And then this one, he just takes the monster. So, I mean, this you're out because you have the uh, instant fusion. You know, you can bring, just pay a thousand points and uh, get those, get one of these guys out and uh, go on with your day. Unless you have, you know, spear mode, you know, I mean, all you need is one card. I mean, but then you got a hard draw, you know. I mean, come on. But extra deck, you could just spit it out anytime. But you know, we're all about the heart of the card, keeping it real with Yugi, the original. You know. All right. So now we got a bunch of uh, chump blockers. So now he gets another uh, show. What's it called? Show. Bushido counter. So now, yeah, we finally bring the great thing. He gains a thousand, I mean, he gains a uh, hundred for every Bushido since there's three here on the field, anywhere on the field. Since he's got three here, he's at 1300, but he's a measly weak 1000, you know, dude. But if you bring, you know, more samurai to his lane, you get another, so, you know, it can, it can add up. Like I said, without the, the gateway six samurai, this deck is, uh, you know, it's just climbing, 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 you know. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. So then, his effect is, uh, when he's linked summoned, you get a... See, I should have saved this for him. Okay, so that's what you want to do. You want to save your Ash Blossom for this guy. And this guy only. Okay, don't worry about any other crap that's going on. Because they only have one of this card. Okay? One of this card. And this card is the magic. This what card makes the magic happens. Don't worry about the two counter in the beginning. It just makes a thing. They gain 500 attack. But the four. Gets you another monster. Level four. And then six you get the big boss. But we're not about that life. Like I said. This is a. Six samurai. This should just call it six samurai toolbox. You know. It's not a six samurai deck. Okay, like like at least Goki when I showed you that Goki. You see that boss? The Goki boss? He's the boss, man. So these guys are pretty much just chump little chumpers, man. Little chump chump, you know. See you see my deck? It's a zombie. I mean I got a couple other cards with it, but pretty much uh, you know, I guess you could say the same thing with my zombie. Because, uh, you know, in the end, they're pretty weak. But I do uh, pretty much concentrate on my boss monster, you know, him. I mean, yeah, Gizmax, you know, gets me out of things in, in uh, spear mode. But most of the times, I use, you know, a lot of the <clears throat> zombie things to get, you know, get things done. You know? So anyway... So now he comes out. It's over. 
So now he's gonna remove, uh, I don't know, like three counters or something, and then search this guy. Remember, he already used a normal summon on the Elder of Six Samurai. This guy. Okay, so he can't normal no more. But this will let you special though. It says if you have, you know, if you control a Six Samurai monster with different name, you can. Since it's a different name, so you can special summon. And he gains 300 if you have two or more of the uh, Six Samurai with different names other than himself. But they're not about that life. Like I said, <clears throat> this uh, reminds me of Black Wings. Black Wing decks are uh, the same, same, same thing. So, you know, I'm gonna try, maybe, I will try to get every archetype that I play, of course. You know, uh, of course I have to win, right? I'm not gonna bring one where I lost, you know. Yes, it takes me many duels to win. But when I do win, it's pretty, pretty cool. Because we get to see what other decks can do and what their weakness is and what their uh, strongness is, you know. There are many decks. There's Pendulum, there's, uh, like I said, Black Wings, there's Goki, there's, uh, right now, of course, Spiral, which is the number one thing, the number one deck right now. So you're looking at uh, over $1,000 with uh, cards for Spiral. Like I said, this bad, bad girl right here. Oh, man. The good thing is, about my deck, you see, I don't have none of these good cards. If I have this, I would put that in there. <clears throat> and because of my spear, uh, play Reaper. I only play one. Like I said, I would play more. I would leave right now. See how he's got more monsters than me. If I had this in my hand, I would bust that out and show them, which I don't have. But if I had Appaloosa, I would show the Appaloosa. Be like, here's Appaloosa, you know. And then he would have to uh, banish his Appaloosa. And then, uh, yeah, and then this deck is uh, pretty much just not really any, I mean, him, but not really anything too, too threatening. Because, uh, you know, because what they do is they, they plus, but then they negative you because of Appaloosa. So, with the, with the Ghost Reaper of Winter Cherries, yeah, but... Like I said, this card right here is freaking 100, it's over $100 for this card. And if you get the Prismatic or the Starlight, it's 500 or more. Yeah, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh is not cheap, but we do what we do with the decks that we got, you know. So now the magic happens for Six Samurai, well, I shouldn't say Six Samurai. Now the magic happens for uh, Appaloosa, or I should say, it. now the magic happens for the extra deck. Alright. So if you play a Monarch and they got that uh the fuel spell monarch that uh you can't special summon from the deck you have what a measly wait twenty one hundred attack or maybe twenty three? I mean come on, you know? So yeah, it's pretty much a uh combo combo base. So let's go. Let's get on with it. So he's gonna summon this guy. <clears throat> he's pretty much gonna summon three of them. I'm just I'm not gonna read anything because it's not nothing excited. So you saw. So he's gonna move the the counter, get another one. Okay. Then he's gonna special summon. Then he's gonna move the counter. Then he's gonna get another one. Okay. Yeah. So that's why this uh gateway right here. That's what makes the deck go. So. Uh, if I didn't get too excited, I would have waited, and yeah, it would have been a. Uh, but then it wouldn't have been a uh, as good of a video, you know. Like, how do I come back from this? You know what I mean? How do you come back from the guy throwing away like twenty, thirty cards from his deck to make a unstoppable board? You know. So yeah, because um even the um dark ruler no more the spell card the cherry beast. Alright, so we can read this card now since it's out. <clears throat> two level four monsters. You can detach two materials from this card and activate one of the following. Alright? One of the following. Skip your next draw phase. Also draw two cards. Then discard one 
card. Skip your next main phase, one. Also, special summon one monster from your graveyard in defense position. Skip the battle phase of the, your next turn. Also, double the attack of one monster you control until the end of this turn. Uh, and you notice this is a new card because what's in the end? Once per turn. Duh. So I think he is going to use the first one. Skip the draw phase. Let's see. He can't do the third one because this is a first turn, so you can't attack first turn. So uh, let's see what happens. Because it doesn't tell you what he's he's choosing. It does come up, but it's like really fast. Okay, he chooses to special summon. So skip. Your next main phase one also special summon one monster from your graveyard. Oh, that's how I survived. That's why he attacked because he has to he has to go straight into the battle phase because he used this. That's why I survived. Okay, I was wondering. I was wondering. How come he didn't attack me, right? When people watch that, they're probably thinking, Oh, he gave him a chance. That's what I was thinking too when I was I was watching the replay. I was like, man, he could have just went off and killed me. Because I only had 50 whatever, right? But nope, because of number 60, the Garrus. The Garrus? The Timeless. So he decided to special summon a monster from his graveyard. He's using number the second one. One monster. But so any monster, man. He could have got any of them. Could have got any of them. I don't know why he chose that one. It's a uh, level two. Why did he choose that one, I wonder? Hmm. Oh, I know why. Because he's a tuner. Because in order for you to let's see, four, two. That's level six. Let's get this guy out. But he got level five out. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you need two earth monsters to get those guys out. All right. So you get that one out. All right. So you got that out. Of course, we get more Bushido. Of course. So now he plays that one, and then he's gonna special summon a uh, 400 attacker. Oh, he's gonna bring out the elder. Remember elder from the beginning? He's a level five. So now he can go into uh, a chariot beast. You don't know about the chariot beast. You need one earth tuner plus one non tuner earth monster. Okay, they both gotta be earth monsters. Okay. And when a spell card is activated, quick effect, you can send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. Negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. This card must be face up on the field to activate and to resolve this effect. What's missing? You can only do this once per turn. But since it doesn't have ones per turn, it depends on how many he's got twenty seven cards, so he can go he can go for a while. So now we know what's coming up. Yep, Elder. And then he's gonna go into the Cheered Beast. Plus he gets more more Bushido. More Bushido. More Bushido. Oh, so now he now he gets the six. See the six counter. You get the uh, the grand. Now you get the boss. Six counter target one Sheen. Effect monsters in your graveyard. Counter effect. Uh, target one. Wait. Six counter target one Sheen. Effect monsters in your graveyard. Special. Summon. Was he in the graveyard? He got it from the hand. He got it from some. He got it from the hand. I don't know. Anyway, he got this bad boy. 
to the hand. Because I don't think he was in the graveyard. I don't know, I lose count. But uh, yeah, I think he got it. He's a level 5. Oh, he used this effect, right? No, he didn't use the effect. Did he use this effect? Uh, no, this one can only get you the uh, thing. He used this effect. Gateway. Four counters, add one. Six samurai monsters from your deck. Oh, yeah, he used the second one. Four counters, add one six samurai monster from your deck to your hand, graveyard. Hand or graveyard, from your deck or graveyard. So, any six, I guess, I thought it was, at first I thought it was a four counter for a level four only, but I guess you can get any of the thing. But then the six counter, you get it from your graveyard. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, that's what we're here for, right? To learn. But, and then this guy, you can only control one grandmaster of the six samurai because he's so badass at 2100 badass and 800 defense look he's so badass he's got one eye like me i should get an eye patch like that huh? i'm the grandmaster of the six samurai so he's, he's a badass he's a badass so his effect is if you control a six samurai monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is in your possession, is destroyed by an opponent's card effect. Target one six samurai monster in your graveyard. Add that target to your hand. So yeah, if he gets uh. This card in possession is destroyed. If he's destroyed, any any ways destroyed by card effect, not by battle, but card effect target. So yeah, back then um, twenty one hundred was uh, really hard to beat. That's why he's a level five. But nowadays you got like freaking link five with five thousand attack. You know it's crazy, man. It's crazy how you gives. So a lot of people quit, but if you just came back. Welcome to the game 2020. This is where we do it. All right, so now he's gonna bring the Grand Master of the Six down. Okay. Of course, he's gonna get those Bushido. So now he's going to Link Summon. Guess who? The one hundred dollar card. Let's read why she's so good. You remember when uh, Light and Darkness Dragon, a two tribute, twenty eight hundred, and uh, you know you can it lose. It's the same thing, but he's at twenty uh, two hundred. Uh, he's at twenty eight hundred. This one is at thirty two hundred. Okay, same thing. You can negate four times, but she's at thirty two hundred. And see how easy it is to bring her out. The other one you gotta do a two tribute. You know. Tribute, and then you have to draw that card in your hand. It's not like in the, you know, it's not like let me get my iPhone 15 out of my my purse, you know. It's like hey, I got I got I got to draw that. So yeah, this is a little bit easier. It says two plus monsters with different names, except tokens. You can only control one. Apollusa, bow of the goddess. Yeah, she's a goddess. All right, look at her. It's badass. For hundred bucks, yeah. The original attack of this card becomes eight hundred times the number of link material used for this link monster. Link summon once per chain. Once per chain, not once per duel, not once per turn. Once per chain. That means. You chain this, you chain that. Then she chain, you chain. He she chain. Every time you do something, she can chain. Chain, chain, chain. Sounds like a song, right? When your opponent activates a monster's effect, quick effect, you can make this card lose exactly 800. And if you do, negate the activation. Which is good because it doesn't destroy. So you can, 
So what I do is if I had my uh So the good thing about that Gizmac check this out. So what I do is I bring this bad boy out. Oh uh, yeah, so what I I bring him out, then I use his effect to steal Appaloosa, right? Oh, this no, this this card people say is going down. It's not going down, man. Free summon, take down Appaloosa because she was she will negate it because she don't want. It's like, hey, baby, give me that ass. She's gonna be like, nah, man, I don't think so. You get your own ass. So uh, then she'll negate his effect, but then she'll lose. 800 and it should be down at 26 oh no never mind I lied he got this one instead he wasn't ready he wasn't ready yet okay I'm not ready Appaloosa I'll get what's I'll get something next to Appaloosa so this guy is not limited he is at three. There's decks that can bring this guy out three times, man. Check this out. Two plus monsters. Just like Appaloosa. Just like everything else. But you get different effects is how many monsters you put. Okay? With different names. So if you get four, you get these other two too. Two and three. Two, three, and four if you bring four out. So this card gains effects based on the number of material used for its link summon. Okay, two plus. If a monster or monsters with the colon with the colon here is normal or special summon to a zone this card points to, that monster or monsters Gains 300. So because he has the zone on my side, I could bring a monster out and gain 300. And like, you know, if I had a fi uh, 2500, I can crash into him or, you know, 26 and I could run over him. But that's not why people did it for that. And in 3 plus, once per turn during your main phase, you can special summon one monster from your hand. So usually what people do is do this and they'll bring something like uh, Foss, Fossil, Fiphilis, Fossil, Dino, Fiphilis, whatever, 1200 attack, 1300 defense that uh, says, uh, you know, nobody can special summon. Or you can bring out Ar Archlord Christia, you know, or Vanity's Ruler, you know, any, any of those cards. Anything goes. But this is the kicker. See how he has no hand, no hand, no hand? Since he did 4, when this card is Link Summon, you can draw 4 cards, then place 3 cards from your hand to the bottom of the deck in any order. So he has no hand, he brings this out, he gets plus 1 because, you know, he gets another monster, right? So he uses that, so now let's look at what he got. So he got a 6 Samurai United. So this card gives you four options, right? And then you just pick one. It's like, you know, it's like McDonald's, you know, one, two, three uh, combos, you know. One dollar for fries, two dollars for uh, apple pie, three for two double, you know, for three bucks. You know what I mean? Who doesn't like who doesn't like options, right? So, <clears throat> so this guy is just like. These thing, you they need you know each time there's six samurai monster or monsters is normal or special summon, place one Bushido counter on this card max two. On unlike these other guys, this has a maximum condition. You only get two on him. So he's like, oh man, I'm full. Uh, only two. Um, uh, I think I'm full. Uh, gateway, you take the rest and uh. Uh, Shin's Dojo, you, you you carry my uh, my burden, please. I can, even though I have uh, six of these guys with me. Yeah, uh, you know, see these are the I think the six original, or five, two, four, yeah, six original uh, six samurai on one picture on pose. Hey, 
Check me out, man. And uh, yeah. So uh, that's that's him, you know. Check me out, baby. So then uh, he's like, okay. Well, since I'm, I can, I guess. Well, he's. Oh, okay. He might take it because look, he's got eight here. And he's got one here. He's got nine. Okay, you already know he's gonna go into Naturia Beast with these two. So he's not gonna get any more. And uh, when this card is normal. Okay, he can't normal summon. Okay? He can't normal summon. He already normal summon. And this one. Uh, Target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, banish it. I mean, I got this card, it doesn't do anything in the graveyard, so it's a waste of uh, anything. You know, I got nothing threatening to him. As far as you know, I, I'd be playing any deck. I mean, everybody plays, uh, you know, Ash Blossom. I mean, just you know, for uh, I waited like two years to finally buy this starter deck to finally have this card to play. <laughs> For like two years, I never played this card. Oh, everybody else is playing them. Just like this bad boy, bad girl. Maybe two years, I might get this. We'll see. I mean, let's, uh, most likely, even then, everyone's going to want it. So, even two years, it's going to be at least, it's still going to be at least 15 to $20 card. That's after, you know, waiting like two years. But, anyway... Uh, there's nothing threatening in my graveyard, so you know he's gonna pass on that. And then this one, activate this card by targeting one level four or lower monster in your graveyard. Special summon it and equip it with this card, but banish it when it leaves the field, even if this card has left the field. When this card leaves the field banish the equipped monster the equipped monster gain uh, lose 1000 attack defense attack and defense also its effects are negated you can only use that activate the living fossil once per duel so you know or uh, once per turn so you know that's a new card when he has that once per turn again so most likely he's going to try to Oh wait, he can use uh, Sarucha's effect, third, uh, 3 plus effect and special summon this. He can. Or does he want to go with more uh, Bushido or does he want to special from the graveyard? To me, he probably want to special summon this because... I don't know why, but maybe... He doesn't have any, the point is a down, so he's not gonna get any uh, more Bushido. And I don't see anything in the graveyard that's, uh, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what he does, we'll see what he does. <coughs> so he's gotta put three back on the bottom of the deck. So he put the first one, second one, third one. Okay, so he's keeping this. So he's gonna... Special summon the monster from the graveyard. Let's see what he picks. Also, he removed Bushida, Bushido to get this one. Okay, this guy. If you control legendary six samurai Shanair, <coughs> you can special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn, you can tribute another face up six samurai monster then target one card on the field destroy the target since i have nothing on my field it's not gonna use the second effect but does he have the legend six samurai shanai in the graveyard kazan uh these are kazans kegeki fuma and elder Hmm. I wonder why he's got this. Oh, he's gonna use his effect to special summon this guy. That's what he's gonna do. Okay. All right. Yep. He's using his uh, three plus <coughs> effect to special summon this. All right. 
and then he's gonna get more Bushido counters all right since he's uh, red he can't so now he's got like six and two he's still got eight counters all right so he's gonna do it again he's gonna search now he's gonna get Shinai Shinai says if you control legendary six samurai Mizuho which is this guy you can special summon him and uh tribute one six samurai in the graveyard except six uh, add it to hand okay if this card on the field is tribute target one six samurai monster in the graveyard except himself add it to hand so he's gonna go down he's probably gonna tribute himself he gets his special summon because he has this bad boy <clears throat> all right so now he gets more counter one and six so he gets uh, he said seven and uh, because of his first effect he gains 300 so he'll be at 18 <clears throat> all right so now dojo or gateway is working his, now he's bringing another one and then he's gonna special because he has this one this one see there's no uh what's missing again once per turn so now he has this guy so now you can bring him down because he has that guy so he's gonna bring him down now it's a full house i was thinking at this point i was thinking <clears throat> let's go look at my side if only he saw my hand right I'd be like damn man but then again there's this little card called evenly match i don't know if you heard of it yeah it's uh it pretty much uh like the name says evenly match you know you match since i, I play that card one card you can only have one card on the field so he's scared of that he has to be but if he saw my hand, he'd be like, oh, I'll just keep it like this. What are you going to do with this hand, right? But the thing is, because spear mode, that's my evenly matched. Spear mode is my evenly matched for monster. Let's go back to his side. See what see what he's going to do. Alright, so he special summoned that guy. Get more Bushido counter. Alright, sounds good. And then he gains another 300. He'll be 19. It was 18. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Like I said. If he saw my hand. If only he saw my hand. You know. We'll see. Because what happened is. uh, You know. I, I can't. This count as normal summon. Okay. Every one of these is normal summon. Okay. Normal. 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 Okay. So I can only do one of this. Because I'm normal like that. I'm a normal dude. That's how I do. I'm still back in Jinzo days. You know, tribute Jinzo. You can't activate trap. All right, let's go back. I'm reminiscing too much about the good old days. No, I'm still living the good old days. I'm glad there's a lot of cards that still let me play like the good old days. You know, like spear mode. What can I say? My evenly match. All right. <clears throat> So now he's doing two things. He's tributing two, tributing, and then uh, he gonna add this to his hand from this guy's effect, from uh, Shinai. So you know Shinai. What's he gonna do? And now he's gonna synchro for Naturia Beast. All right, this negates spell cards. Not once per turn. As long as he has cards in his deck, he could just keep milling two, 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 two. All right. So now, I wonder why he didn't bring this down. Oh, you, you only need one. Okay, he only need one six samurai. He's got it. Okay, never mind. I thought he needed two. Oh, his his three hundred is he need two. But he's gonna get another. So he'd be at twenty one. Because uh, you know. Because this one has uh, not once return either, so yeah. So just play, you know, play cards. Make sure you don't have once return. That way you can just keep. 
So then gateway of the six is gonna go off again. Bring Shenai. Shenai is gonna special. And then he's gonna and then gateway, they're gonna get Bushido counter and Dojo, Shin's Dojo gonna get counters. Then he brings uh uh Mizuho and then Mizuho is gonna get special summon because he has Shenai. Cause uh like I said Not once per turn. Hmm. Alright. So now Gateway the Six is gonna go off again. Then he's gonna tribute. Then he's gonna get a monster. I think he's gonna get this again. So get special summon. So he's gonna get another one. He tribute those two and then he's gonna get Yep. So back all over from the beginning. So now he's gonna bring that down because he's got a six samurai with different name. And then uh, Gateway is gonna search probably another sh uh, the third Shinai. I could be wrong. Most likely I'm not. There you go. This is the third Shinai. He's already using. Yeah. So we got Mizuko one. Hey, where's the rest of them? Then we got one with sh where's the Shinai? Where's Shinai? Do they go back to the deck? I don't see it here. I guess they let me see. Real then target destroy that target. Yeah, because if I suppose I swore there was another one, right? Let's see. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So, uh, Shinai is gonna come down. Shinai Twain is gonna come down. Looks like we made it. Look how far we come, my baby. So, he's gonna tribute that and that. Um, he's going to have Shinai. Shinai Twain. Going to get that. And then he's gonna special, yeah. So one, I, I, I was pretty sure he had two Shanae, man. Did he just get one? Ah, probably. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so that uh, so Kazan is gonna come down, get more counters, and then he's going to get Shan. Oh. He's only playing one Shinai, Shinai Twain. He just keep getting it from the graveyard. Okay, so he's playing two Mazu, Mazu, and uh, see. Check this out. Let's see. Look at his deck. That is it, man. That is it. All the monsters. Oh, he has Pot of Errors. Recycle. See that one says target five monsters in your graveyard, shuffle all five into the deck, draw two cards. So yeah. Rinse and repeat. It's kinda like um I don't know. I'm I used to think like that. Like, hey, what if I do this or that and maybe I need to I run out of resource. The way I see it if I'm, I just quit. Like if I know that I can't beat the person anymore, you know, like okay, you got it, dude. You know, you got it. You got your combo. You got it. Like a guru, right? Uh, you know, like um, what's that? Uh, whatever guru. I don't know that. You know, another another back row, like McKnight. You know, you know all that crap. I mean, not crap, but you know, just another. They all do pretty much the same thing. So, like I said, you see his deck. There's no more. There's nothing. So, if you have DD Crow. So, another thing with DD Crow. Okay. So, now that you see the deck here. So, if you have DD Crow. You want to DD Crow Shanai. 
or uh Mizuho. Depends. Maybe they they play two and two, but um I think they play one and two because this guy has to be on the field for these two to come down. Well, it's vice versa. Let's see. This is fifteen. And oh, okay. He's playing two of these is because this is sixteen hundred. This is fifteen hundred. All right, one hundred different. So if you have DD Crow, that's what you would DD Crow. One of these guys. Okay. So now we know their weakness. Gateway. One of these. But these he plays three, so there's no point to DD Crow with that. Yeah. All right. So let's continue. Okay, so now Shania is gonna come down. Shania Twings can come down, and then Gateway. He's gonna special that. Now Gateway is gonna search, attribute again. Oh, three this time. Oh, four. Ah, my son, you have done me well. This reminds me of uh. I, you know, I play Final Fantasy, you know, and, uh, you know, the bosses. This just reminds me of, like, the Final Fantasy boss, you know? There's always that third form. You know. Sarucha, you done good. Oh, you six samurai have done good for me. But now you feel the true power of. A Belusa, the bow goddess. All right, there you go. There she is. One hundred dollar. She's a fairy. Win, win fairy. Oh man, one hundred dollars. Mm. Must be nice. Must be nice. Must be nice. All right. Alright, we know about Appaloosa. She just gains 800. So she's at 3200 because they use 4 monsters. We use 1, 2, 3, 4. So it seems like 6 Camerai reminds me of just a, a bitch, you know? They're just bitches, man. They're just like, hey, come here, my bitch. You're my bitch. Get me out. You know? You're just my bitch to get the true form of the Final Fantasy boss monster. So she comes out. Now this guy negates spell cards. She negates monster's effect. Hmm. What else? Let's see. I need something for the trap cards and I need something for the graveyard. She negates any monster. Okay, by the way. From the hand, from the graveyard. Or does she, does she? From the graveyard too, right? Let's see. Let's see. I could be wrong. Once per chain when your mo opponent activates a monster's effect. See? It could be from anywhere. Just for shits and giggles. We're going to... Uh, let's see. Let's negate, uh... So we need that one tuner back up. The earth one. Uh, Kajimusa. We need Kajimusa back up so we can bring out the Naturia Bakyan. Not the Naturia Beast, Naturia Bak. I remember back in the day it was so hard to bring these, these guys out, man. We used to play trap like... Mirror forces and torrential tribute and yeah, so now he's gonna reborn that Kachimusa. You wanna bet? Oh, well, you already seen a preview. You know what? Yep, there he is. Come on out, Kachimusa. You my bitch. You done me well. Now go help. Bring out the Chiryu Bakian. Come on. Yep. <clears throat> so the pretty much the combo is this guy Kazan and these two pretty much that's pretty much the uh, the bitches. That's pretty much all the bitches, you know. 
So now we're gonna go Bakyan. No, we. Oh, first. Hmm. I'm thinking he might use graveyard because he's got uh, Ash Blossom. So I think I'm going to go. Uh, hmm. What X Y Z do we have? Well, he has no back row, so we can't use Tornado Dragon. So this one destroys a back row. But it don't matter because we got the Cheery Beast here that can negate any back row spell. But just in case, we'll uh. Yeah, we'll um bring out the bring out a beast dweller. Okay, let's bring out beast dweller. There you go. All right. So this guy, beast dweller, he's the he's the beast, beast of a dweller. He's a beast of the dweller. Two level four monsters. While this card has a material attached attached that was original water. Uh, yeah, Earth and Earth. He's got Earth and Earth. Nah, guess that first thing don't work, don't matter. All water monsters you control gains 500 attacks. So she'll be a lot bigger than she is. Once per turn, quick effect. You can detach one material from this card. Your opponent cannot activate any card effects in their graveyard. So that means, uh... Uh, this guy, when he goes to the graveyard, it won't work. I can't uh, banish him to special summon. So, two of my monsters already here in my hand already is gonna get slaughtered. Okay? If I can get past the Final Fantasy boss here. Okay? So, we have Tidus right here. You know? And we have uh, Yuna, so Yuna and Tidus gonna kill kill the uh, the sin, you know, Final Fantasy X. But we can't because uh, this uh, dweller in the beast here is waiting. He's waiting in the abyss, in the abyss to snatch you, you know, like rah, get ya, it's gonna get ya. All right. So now. Of course he's gonna do it. He's not gonna do it right now because it only lasts that turn. So then he's gonna be like, mm hmm. Ah, so now we're gonna go. Okay, now we're gonna go. The Cheerio Beast. Bakyan. Two Earth Tuner, a uh, one Earth Tuner and one a more non Tuner. He's a level six. So, oh, I guess he. Oh yeah, because of this card, uh, the monster gets Spanish when he leaves the field. So he that's why he's out here. He's Spanish. So we got one Earth here, Kazan. So here's the bitch. Uh oh, you done good, man. So you got shot in the head, but you saved the boss. You know, the boss is grateful for you. He'll put all the money from all the money he made from the drugs and uh, share some with your family. Help out your family. Get your sister to college and, uh, you know, get some baby formulas for your little babies that you, you know, for your mom so she don't have to struggle. But you did as well. So that's the story of Kajimusa. So now we got the gate spell. Negate trap. Negate activation of graveyard. Negate every effect of any monsters there is. Except. <sighs> Spear mode. Even Nibiru. He can negate. So he's thinking. Oh I'm safe. Because I can negate Nibiru with this. Let's keep going. You would think about Nibiru, I would have killed it over here already. So he's like, ah, he got no Nibiru. As you can see his deck here, he got nothing, man. Oh, Monster Reborn, I guess. If you reborn uh, Appaloosa, she'll be zero. So, I mean, uh, yeah. What can, uh, can I say? Alright. So Bakiyard comes out. And he's like, alright, your turn. It's your move, Yu Yi. 
And I'm like, oh shit, I'm screwed. So I'm like, ah, I got my spear mode, I'm good, I'm good. So then we go uh, draw phase, so we draw. And we get another normal summon. <laughs> like that wasn't enough. So th then I was thinking, hmm, who should I? Because my, okay, most importantly, this, this one because it negates anything. And this one is because he negates the uh, graveyard. Uh, trap and spell, but since we play all monsters, we have no spells, traps, or spells. So those two cards are pretty much useless, other than the beat down. So we're gonna do this and this, and then I was thinking, uh, because he powered up, and he's originally twenty five, and he's originally twenty three, twenty two. So I figured just these three is fine, you know. So I'm like, all right. Cherry Beast, you can stay with your pumped up 25 because they're both the same. Okay, so main phase one, I'm like, have fun with my spear mode. So I put it over here. I don't know why I put it. You put it anywhere you want. I usually put it over here. I don't know why I put it there. I don't know. So then that's it. So now it's his turn. So then I'm thinking, oh, I'm screwed, man. I'm freaking screwed. I was thinking. Right, because uh, I was thinking, oh man, he could kill me, right? Eight thousand is nothing, right? I was thinking, ah oh, shit. But then, did you remember? Did you remember this guy way back? Remember that? So remember that in real game, he could have just been like. I was thinking about it too. I was just like, well, I think I'm gonna quit. Seriously, when I was doing this, I was just gonna surrender, right? Hit the surrender button. Because I was like, well, but then I was thinking, well, maybe I'll go watch the video and see uh, what happened. So I could learn more about the deck, which I am learning a lot. And if you can see here, remember he brought out. Uh, one of these bad boy, this guy I think he brought him, brought him out with his second effect. Skip your next main phase one. Also, special summon one monster from your graveyard in defense position. So in real game, uh, you know, like you see how many combos. I mean, look, he he put twenty four cards down, man. You know. And I don't know how many minutes, but we forgot about this guy. But the good thing about the real, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro is it doesn't. Okay, you, you can't cheat. So in real world, you would forget about this. And then he would like, uh, then he would be like, he'd be like normal summon. Then you would have to tell him, hey, no, you can't uh, summon because you use number 60. The Garus, the Timeless. So remember him, because if he used the draw two, he skips. Don't let him draw, and if he skip the the special summon, you know, don't let him uh, do that. And then if he does the the double the damage, don't let him attack you the next turn. So you either skip your draw, your main phase one, or your battle phase. So just remember this guy. So remember when you see this guy number sixty, have it in your head. Okay. Draw just like reckless uh reckless greed, the trap card. You draw two cards, skip your uh two draw phase, you know? So you say uh Okay, so he did he draw or did he skip his main phase one or did he skip the battle phase? So it's important. That's what makes a great player, man. Even you you watch the live stream on uh on YouTube or Twitch or whatever. These guys will make the mistakes and then the announcer has to go down there and say, like, hey, 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 even the judges, they forget, man. So it's good to, you know, come here, watch these long, drawn out, all exaggerated. All right. So then he's like, shit, man, I got, I was thinking he's got eight count, eight Bushido. 
and four that's 12 Bushido counters and he's got loads of graveyard man I mean even though he's kind of uh, he can still take me down I mean look he's still got freaking Boros Savage Dragon which is just one tuner and one non tuner level 8 he's got uh Shein. he's got so he could bring him out so you bring him out so he's got the two arrows on the bottom and then bring uh these two and uh that's game man easily easily i was thinking ah oh, shit i'm screwed man i'm freaking screwed but remember that's what makes a great player remembering what card they use so a lot of times sometimes don't be embarrassed to don't be shy uh check the graveyard okay check the graveyard but then again know the card because if you didn't know what this card did then you'd be like ah whatever you forget about it right so check it check check the graveyard always check the graveyard say hmm anything here anything here and if you don't see like you see this card you forget you're like oh let me read it real quick of course you know uh, it's funny because uh i can't see that good so i carry my magnifying glass so i remember um i had the magnifying glass and uh i, I couldn't read the card so i just with, with what they told me what the card did so yeah if you have to bring your magnifying glass bring it man don't be embarrassed read the card the card says it so i was gonna give up on this too and i'm glad i didn't so now i made a make, makes a great video right so i'm thinking shit man i got all summon normal summon and uh we'll see so then he's like main phase one to battle see see main phase one he can summon he can do nothing in main phase one he can't remove Bushido he can't normal summon he can't you know so he has to go to battle so then he hits me with uh, the cherry beast for 25 so I'm down to 55 okay so then he has to go to main phase two so he could have got rid of my thing here with uh with phoenix i don't know why he didn't i think i would have got rid of that i think i would have got rid of that that bad boy we'll see what he does because you know that's an extra monster for me to uh plus then he can't attack it or target it man you know you can't target this bad boy look at it cannot be special summon requires three tribute uh tributes from either side of the the field to you can't do like one and two on this side it has to be three on that side or three on my side okay it has to be three it, you can't split them up okay uh cannot be normal set so you can't set it you have to normal summon it okay let me tribute some then shift control to this cards owner during the end phase of the next turn okay so if we go to this side the next on the end turn of this thing it comes back to me uh and then um it cannot attack okay okay so it's in a, then shift to the owner to end 10 let's see uh cannot attack <coughs> your opponent cannot Target this card for attacks or by card effects. You can tribute this card to bring the you know the spear mode, the big the big daddy, the, the egg opens and the big raw comes out. But who plays that? And then it becomes four thousand. You know, uh, we we we're not playing for that. Just playing to clear the make the feel even. So now he has to go to main phase two. So now he's gonna do his thing. He's going to uh bring that guy now it's gonna do the same thing so bring down <coughs> special kazan you know bring this guy down so he's gonna normal normal get the bushido <coughs> then he's going to okay this one this is a new one we didn't see secret six samurai kizaru when this card when this card 
a special summon you can add from your deck to your hand one six samurai monsters with a different attribute from every uh wait tribute from every monster you control if exactly one six samurai monster you control and no other cards would be destroyed by card effect you can banish this card from the graveyard instead so i don't know how this guy came down when this card is normal you can special summon one level four or lower all right so it's like a uh, marauding captain so he normal that uh kageki and then he's special kazoo so zero okay so then he's gonna special this and you know we're gonna we're gonna get back to the that's all i was saying i'm glad uh the number 60 helped us out i was i thought he just gave us a, a thing you know uh a chance let's see this is the new one this is a new one new one six samurai uh hatsumi you can banish two six samurai monsters from your graveyard and or face up from your field then target one six samurai monster in your graveyard except secret six samurai hatsumi special summon it you can only use this effect of the six samurai hatsumi oh this must be new card once per turn surprisingly if exactly one six samurai monster you control and no other cards would be destroyed by card effect you can banish this card so he has two banished cards that can save the six samurai and then if this is in a graveyard you can banish two six samurai and uh special summon any of them that's yeah, pretty good pretty good pretty good since you're a normal summon special summon then he's gonna special summon the kazan so Kazan's coming down. Okay. Is there any of them tuner? Nope. Nope. Not of them a tuner. But what does he have left? He's got Tornado Dragon. He's got this one. That's it. He's got that guy. Tornado Dragon. He's got no tuner. Alright. So... Let's see. All right. So Bushido. So yep, yep. He's gonna bring that out, and then he can discard to get a Bushido. I guess he'll get this one. That's only yeah. That's only card I see. Uh, yeah, one of these or the show the Shin's Dojo. Yeah, he's playing three of these. Wow, six Samurai United. Okay. So he's gonna get one of those. He's gonna discard this card. Yep, yeah, discard that. Because remember, this is this works great in the graveyard, right? You can banish two and then special another one. So yeah. So now he's back to the same thing. Like I said, it wasn't for that one. Number sixty, we would have been toast. But hey, the harder the card. So yep, he did get that. So now he's gonna use this effect, probably banish two and special summon one. <clears throat> Pretty sure he's gonna do that. Okay, well it's gonna okay, he's gonna keep using he's got plenty of uh plenty of uh thing there. Only problem is he doesn't have any more cards. See? He has no more. He has a bunch of weenies, man. He ain't even got enough to freaking bring out his only boss he's got. That's the boss. Man, what's the point of having a ultimate legendary six samurai shin? And can't even bring him out. Because uh you can't he can't special summon. He's out of he can't Oh, he still can. He can banish this two to this and bring out the uh uh hmm. Does he have a level one tuner? They don't do they have a one? Yeah, right there. Could bring out Fuma. Could bring out Fuma and bring out Sheen. Let's see if he does it. Uh 
let's see I don't remember the thing was so quick okay so now it's gonna do all the thing all the thing oh oh it's getting big 2700 all right so now it's gonna do this now it's gonna bring the third one out three of a kind okay looks good looks good all right looks good he's gonna tribute that remember two of those because this one says uh each okay so you can send this card to the graveyard draw one card for each bushido so he's gonna draw two cards all right so he draws this and now he's got reinforced now he can search for level four or lower uh for lower uh that's it man he only got it's only got two monsters left in the graveyard so easy to get the legendary six samurai Kaj kajiki keki kekeki or elder of the six samurai that's it he's slim picking now he is slim picking all right yeah that's one thing about these decks man you break the board just like spiral and all that yeah they win but you break the board it's over all right go get your two card one of the two okay so he gets the elder the six samurai you know you can special summon if i have a monster which i don't so then he's like okay uh he can send but then he saw that he had one this guy so he's at 200 attack he has nothing that's 200 attack so he can't use this card at all this is a dead card man oh is it oh no oh no no add one i thought it was the other one i was thinking about this one right here sorry about that my bad my bad i was thinking about this one ascetism of the six samurai i was thinking about that so he's gonna search for his last gonna search for his last uh yeah i think he is and get his last uh last monsters in the in the deck nothing but spell cards yeah all right let's see what happens okay so he got three of a kind away so he sent that bad boy away oh no it's right here still i thought he sent that bad boy away all right so uh what's he gonna do now hmm what can you do in your extra deck you can't you can't synchro these you can uh tornado but uh, these guys already 21 18 18 i mean uh, 2100 i guess you, i guess you can go to it i mean just in case i have traps you know spells that's that's what i would do <coughs> he did so he went here because that's that's it he's got five cards left <sighs> appaloosa the boss is dead but even then he still never brought shin out man you call yourself a six samurai master he didn't even bring shin out not even once come on man He's overshadowed by all these other ones, especially Appaloosa. And you know what? This guy right here, he's still like, I think the ultimate ones, I think like 50 bucks or 55 or whatever. Yeah. Still a lot of fans, man. A lot of fans. Nostalgic. Nostalgic. Makes money. <clears throat> and he decided to put... That's stupid. He should have get these two for phoenix okay he can wait for phoenix with these two and then i wouldn't have had a monster then i wouldn't be able to, able to do my my thing you know my tingling all right we'll see yeah he could have went into nightmare phoenix so never give back i mean even though it's my card I played how it is. Never give this guy back. Never give opponents monsters. Okay? Because. I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. See like he still has 8 counters. So he could have. I wonder why he didn't go more. You know get more. Like he could attribute that. 
for this then he could have went uh i guess he wanted to uh save his counters for the next round but then he left this i don't know why okay because i could just deck him out i mean it'd be uh, uh you don't have no more mo okay so now they let me have my thing i'm like okay so let's switch over so now it's our turn it's only round four man it's already been like 50 minutes <clears throat> that's why i hate playing against these kind of decks you know you lose all your time look how many moves i made i made freaking two moves i literally made two moves i counter his thing and then i tributed his monster i have one card in my graveyard one card on the field he's got one card banished 26 cards in the graveyard five cards left in the extra deck i still have a full load of loading full loading you know you know but then he's like ah, i got this man i got this he's at 55 so then it's our turn so then let's see what we draw let's see what we draw we draw must another normal summon all right sounds good so what i do is i do this bad boy just to thin the deck you know and just have him in the graveyard because his effect is pretty good you can tribute uh one zombie including himself special summon one zombie mon a tuner monster with zero defense from your your uh your deck if this card is banished you can target one of your banished shinui monsters except himself or if you have the you know whatever this fuel spell or whatever thing there trap whatever and then you can uh special summon it so yeah when he's banished you can uh special summon one of the banished cards so he pretty much when he's banished you get the um the spirit master back because that's who we usually uh uh banish so if you look here uh i have uh uni zombie and i have the level one uh this guy i can get him glow up bloom and i can get the other one too i can get the i guess if i want to stall i could get uh this guy because he'll give us uh four tokens so we, worst comes to worst that we can get him to like chump block you know you know what i mean like we can just keep stalling i guess with this guy so i decided you know what we're not gonna stall so I got to tribute himself and we're going to get another Zuni zombie from the deck. And then Uni zombie is uh <clears throat> you can target one face up monster on the field, this card, one card. And if you do increase uh that target target's level by 1. You can target one face up monster on the field. Uh, monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of this turn except with zombies so once you do this you're locked to zombies okay all right so once you use the effect you're locked to zombies for the rest of this turn except zombie monsters also send one zombie monsters from your deck to the graveyard and if you do increase that targets level by one you can only use this <coughs> once per turn oh yeah that's what you know you got the good stuff when it's once per turn you know you got the goods so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i don't know target my uh spear mode i guess make him a level uh 11 so he's a level one so I might drop him because the reason is because when this card is normal summon, it's like a uh, you get a another sheer Nui from your graveyard when he's normal summon. But if he's banished, I could destroy one face up card the opponent controls. Okay, and this guy right here, when he goes to the graveyard, I could banish one zombie. Okay, 
and then special summon one monster one zombie monster from my hand any level so this guy works good with him so when he goes to the graveyard you banish this destroy one of the face card of course we're gonna get rid of that because you know you know how we, it goes right we don't want him to keep freaking recycling his shit right because you get it from the deck or graveyard remember that see four counters add one six samurai monsters from your deck or graveyard to your hand that's the reason why he's at one so so we did that so now he's at level 11 and we're still at level three so then i'm gonna use his second effect to pitch uh from my hand of course i'm gonna dump kozuki because like i said he would they work together right so now i'm gonna dump kozuki and then his effect during your main phase just like his effect you can dump a zombie to the graveyard okay but when he's uh, in the graveyard you can banish one zombie and special sum summon from your hand so i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna banish this and remember when he's banished i can destroy one face up card on the field any of them i'm not worried about him because i have no spells to trap right i'm not worried about him because i have no spells and trap uh, I'm not worried about him because once you destroy all the the tokens, he's gonna be weak. All right, so he's a weak monster. All right, so we're gonna just of course that's the first thing, priority right there. It's that freaking gateway. That's why it's limited to one. <clears throat> so his effect. Let me special summon Mazuki. Okay. Oh, I, I target himself with a second effect to make it four. Alright. So then, <clears throat> because I have a XYZ, Dark Rebellion, see? It says two level four monsters. You can detach two material from this card, then target one face up monster your opponent controls, its attack becomes half its current attack and uh wait um to get one card face up monster your opponent controls its attack becomes half its current attack not original attack current attack so like see him he's at 25 right so see him he's at 25 so it's their current attack so there'll be a 1250 instead of the original is, is at uh, 1000 so you gotta be, be careful when you read those things Make sure it's original or you know current so then what we do he pretty much takes half of the the damage of the i mean the attack and add it to himself so yeah that's what we're gonna do so let's see what i'm gonna do okay so here i'm gonna smash that gateway which i should have in the beginning with the uh, none of this would happen if i would have got that but hey you live and learn right so now yep goodbye gateway right so we got that so now oh no 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 I'm going to go into vampire sucker cuz cuz two zombie monsters which we have these two and then if you would tribute a monster for a tribute summon, you can tribute a zombie monster your component control, even though you do not control them. You can only uh, use um, each of the following. So pretty much, you have zombie world. Everything is zombie. You can tribute any of these monsters with a tribute summon. But we're not about that life. We're not about that book of life. Alright, the Book of Life is a joke because, you know, Book of Life is a, a spell card that used for zombie. You banish one of their uh, monsters in, from their graveyard and then you uh, special summon one from your graveyard. Yeah, Book of Life. So we're not about that Book of Life. Yo. And then, um, mm -mm -mm -mm. his, uh, the effect is, uh, oh yeah, don't forget. The famous once per turn okay so you can only use one of these not both like i can re i could target one of the uh 
I could target one of the the, the monsters in that graveyard, and special summon it, and become zombie. Then if they don't have any, you know, uh, zombie world or whatever anything, then I can use my tribute and tribute one of them. But since we already normal summon uh, this guy, Shirinui, we have no more summon. Tribute summon, just like this guy, count as normal summon, okay? So we can't, we can't do no, so we're not gonna use that. I never use that first one anyway. We're gonna use the second one though. If a zombie monster is special summon uh, from your graveyard, draw one card. So that's what we're gonna do because we're gonna banish this guy. Okay? And special summon, doesn't matter. Because no, nothing get gets, uh, we already use this effect, so we can't use the effect. So just get whatever, you just need another, another body. Make sure it's a zombie though. So we can draw one card. So then I'm gonna bring Shirinui. Why? I don't know. He's the weakest one. He's at 500 attack. Just to flex, I guess. Because we could have brought uh, this guy out and he's like... Oh, you know what? I should have brought him out. Because we never used his first effect. Ah, yeah. I screwed up. Okay. I, he never used his first effect. See? During your main phase, you can send one zombie monsters from your deck to the graveyard. I never used his uh, first effect. So I could have brought him out and dump uh I don't know dump another um okay even yeah so I guess even if he kill kill this we could dump another uh Mizuki this guy and then we could have brought another but because <laughs> I know I lied right I told you about um my car doesn't have one return this one. It's old school. It's old school, man. That's how we do it. That's how you know when they're old school when it doesn't have once per turn. See? So if I have three Mizuki, I can bring out three zombies. Yeah. That's why he's good. So people play Burial from a different dimension and uh, bring him back and then call over. Or, or that uh, Psych Frame Omega, you know. Keep, keep doing, keep looping. But like I say, we're not about that book life, man. We're just gonna, gonna get get going with the game here all right so then because we got a uh, zombie coming from our graveyard we get to draw a card for her uh, vampire suckers effect so we get to draw one card there we go and we get another one which we can't use because that's another normal okay Whatever. that's good so then now we're gonna go into Nightmare Unicorn requires two plus different names. That's it. So since since this is link two plus one, that's three. Okay, so link two plus one is three because it says it only says two two plus. So I got link two plus one. That's three because it's a link three. Okay, that's how you do the link. That's how you bring link out. All right. So now it says if this card is link summon, which we not link summon means uh, these arrows right here is connected to another arrow, then we get to draw a card. But we don't have no arrows down here, so we don't we don't get that. But this one, you just target one card and bounce it back into the deck, not destroy. Just uh, you know, uh, just bounce it back, you know. And of course, uh. You know, and then, um, does this have once per turn? I think it does have once per turn, right? Instead, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you draw cards, how many cold link you got? So, once per turn. Well, cold link, yeah. So, you know, once per turn. Anyway, so we're gonna bounce, um, so what am I gonna bounce? I'll probably bounce the, this guy, because he has six six but i didn't know that he didn't have um uh i didn't know that he ran out of a uh, thing anymore so i guess um i should have done was i should have just bounced uh hmm. i don't know i guess um this guy but you never know you know what i mean like because they they, they uh, i don't know you never know because you don't know the deck so we're gonna drop <clears throat> it doesn't matter who you drop one of those so we bounce that back 
So now he's back in his uh, in his studio. So now he's back in his studio. So then I link four or top of logic. All right. Like I said, um, I could have did this one. So there was a way, but I didn't need it. So that's why I wasn't thinking too much because I didn't need it. I knew it. And then this one, just like the unicorn, it requires link four, two plus. See, two plus. So this guy is um, <clears throat> see how he has all these link, link here up three. Anytime a monster is special summon to its link, it's not once per turn either. If you see it, yeah, I guess we got a couple cards that has not, not once per turn. It destroys all the cards in the regular monster zone, okay? Mine and theirs, okay? So, because I have Mizuki in there, when I dumped it, we're gonna use this effect. And then, uh, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Get whoever. I got Vampire Sucker. She's gonna be the... She's gonna be the bitch. For Topologic. Doesn't matter who. He, she's... Doesn't matter. She's special something. So now his effect kicks in. But uh, the thing is, only he can attack, okay? Nobody else. Once you use his effect, only he can attack. And if it, if it attacks... Attack a uh, monster, they pretty much take 3,000. But if you attack a monster in defense, they take whatever the monster's attack is. Original attack, right? Yeah, I would see. You notice it says right here, not current attack, original attack. So this guy, if he was, well, you can't put the link in defense because they have no, no, no defense. Let's say this guy was in defense, he would take 1800. This guy, he would take uh, 2200. And then this guy, he would take 2100. Okay, if he's in defense. But since they're in attack mode, they take the difference. They pretty much take uh, 3,000 in the face if they're in attack mode. Unless, uh, you know, that 3,000, they crash, then he can't use effect because uh, he's dead. Alright. I don't think his effect goes through because he's dead. Like if you crash into something. I think he has to be on the field for his attack to work. You can't, you know what I mean? Like if you're not there. It's kind of like if you're not there. I mean, if the tree falls... You know, does it make a sound? Even you're not there? Who knows? You're not there to hear it. Alright, so now, Topologic Bomber gonna blow everything up. Everybody's dead. And uh, he has he has one measly counter on him. So he's a, he's a 11. But it doesn't matter. Like I said, he could have, he could have like, uh, what? 19... 19 counters? 19? Yeah. He could be 2,900. He's still gonna take 3,000. Cause see his, 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 uh, see his, his score here? He's gonna be down to, uh, 5,000 when I attack. Okay? Oh! Oh, never mind. <clears throat> never mind. No, no, never mind, never mind. Uh, forgot. Forgot. I cheated. I cheated. I cheated. Remember when you use, uh, Uni Zombies effect? Only zombies can attack. But if you have zombie world, you can attack. But we're not about that book life. I know I keep saying the same thing. We're not, we don't have no, no uh, zombie world. We have no zombie world, so we can't attack. But we did wipe out his field. And like I said, he has no more monsters. And he has no more tokens. Not yet anyway. Unless he draw one of these. And then he's got two monsters. Because I have a monster, he can, uh, oh, he can't even, uh, special because he has a, he has a monster. Okay. Never mind. Go on, go on, go on. Okay, so now, we're gonna swap it. So it's his turn. So, now, standby phase. Now it's his turn. He's gonna set, call by the grave. The, the, you know that card? That banishes one monster from the... Only monsters, okay? Not 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 like Diddy Crow. Diddy Crow can uh, banish any card, but he can only do monsters. But it negates the effect for two turns until he come, you know, until your turn, until he comes back to his turn. Then yeah, like your turn, you can't use. It. I keep forgetting that. So remember that, okay? 
Remember this card. So remember this. Remember this card. Okay, remember this this card. Only zombie can attack. And most importantly, remember this card. Okay. Did they the draw? Did they draw? Did they use the main phase? Or did they use the double attack? Do they skip the draw phase, main phase one, or battle phase? So that's the most so. So three cards here you gotta remember. All right. Other than that, uh, it's pretty. Uh, everything is pretty. Uh... So now he's like, okay, he passed turn because uh, what can he do? He like didn't want me to wipe out his field again. He learned his lesson from. Uh... But unfortunately, he can't put uh, uh, him. Uh, link monsters in uh, defense, so he's gonna take three thousand in the face. In the face, but before we do that, cause I kind of don't know what he has down. You know, it could be anything, so I wasn't uh, sure. So I'm just testing the water. Is that normal? What I should have done is I should have just uh, attacked first. Because if he had like a torrential tribute or something, I would have been screwed, you know? Yeah, I should have played the safe, safe road. See right now, I should have just played the safe route. Okay? I should have just attacked. He takes, you know, 5,000. And then go try to see if I can do something after, you know. But I don't know. You know, you you, you live, you know. I mean, you, you try things. So I attack, and then uh, in damage step, remember damage step means damage step is the last step of the battle. So only time you can do damage step is if the defense. Or the um, attack is different. So this one says quick effect. You can banish one zombie monster from your graveyard. Uh, this card gains 600 attack. And if you do banish any monster that... So it doesn't target. Okay, so that monster that battles, it's just, uh, just like a um, Zodiac Whiptail. So it um, banishes that monster after damage calculation. These effects last until the end of end of the end of this turn. If this card is banished, you can target one Shirinui monster in your graveyard, except Shirinui, except himself, and add it to your hand. So when he gets banished, I can add uh one him. One of this guy, when he gets banished, he can special summon him. You see what I'm saying? So what we do is I'm gonna banish this guy. Then we can special summon this guy. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna banish his uh, his monster. So then banish that. So then because that one's banished, I get to special summon this. Okay, so he goes. So you attack, this banish, and this comes back. So this is way this is before any uh, damage step. So now the damage step goes through, and he gets banished, and he takes uh he was at eleven right? So this is twenty four. So he takes thirteen. So he's at sixty seven. And then I'm gonna attack, uh, for fifteen. So he'll be at forty two. Oh, 52. Then I'm attacking for 3,000, so he'll be at uh, 22. Because I didn't use his effect, everybody can attack, okay? If you use his effect, you can't attack with him. And if you use a uh, Unizomber, you can't attack. So he's at 22. So I was thinking, I don't know what that is. But I'm going to use this because this is a quick effect. See, when it says quick effect, that means you could use it in a chain. So you can use it in a chain, see? Once per turn, quick effect, you can detach one 
material from this card then target one spell trap card on the field destroyed so he's got one it, you could destroy yours or his it just doesn't matter in case you gotta get rid of something but I want to get rid of his so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring out tornado dragon in main phase 2 and because this is special summon to his link his effects gonna kick in destroying everything including my monsters but because this is a quick effect, I could chain to that. So this is chain link 1, then chain link 2. So I go first, then he goes. Okay. So because um, the way this works, I could chain block. They call it chain block. Chain link 1 and chain link 2. So um, if you ghost ogre, he would die, not him. So the ghost ogre would be chain link 3. See, so 1, 2, 3. I don't know, I guess that's how it works, I don't know. Alright, so I'm gonna use, uh, so chain link 1. Then I'm gonna use chain link 2. And I'm gonna detach and destroy his back row, because I don't know what it is. Unfortunately, it's freaking call from the grave, so he's gonna chain link. So he's gonna activate 3. He's gonna remove my Kozuki. So I guess that's the card that he thought it was the most important. So then, uh, yeah, so destroy, see, three, two, three. So uh, now we switch back to him. So now it's his turn. So now he draws this guy. So then he's going to get draw two more cards, right? Because he's going to get, because remember this guy, he... Uh, he can special summon that and then normal it doesn't matter both of them coming out so he's gonna play the the six samurai united so now he's gonna get two counters and then draw two cards pretty good so he's gonna have two monsters on the field he special summoned that remember because I got a monster but if he would have put it right here he would have died if he special summoned right here this thing would have blown up by top of logic all right so then he gets a counter, so he gets two counters. So then he's gonna send this and draw two cards. So he draws another call the grave, which is useless because I don't need it. I got three thousand, and he's got this one, which is uh, useless because uh, he has no more monsters, right? Yeah, he has no more monsters. Oh, it's dojo. So dojo is not that good. Each time six, uh, Bushiro, you can send this card in the uh, to graveyard special summon one six samurai or Shin monster from your main deck. So towards the end of the game, he's got one, two. If he would have got this one, it would have been good. If he had instant fusion, that would have been good because he could got a uh, thousand eye restrict and then suck him up yeah he had one chance he had uh, instant fusion yeah like i said you know this is a this is like your uh your your boss i mean your uh go to to go collect your uh your money from a uh, extort extortion from from marketplaces yeah so he plays uh how many instant fusion he only plays one or oh, two he plays two instant fusion or if he had uh pot i mean he had a lot of cards one two three even a reborn, I don't think it's gonna do anything. There's no monsters that's uh big enough to fight him. Yeah, there's no monster that's uh three thousand. Mm -mm. So even reborns are not gonna help. So you got three instant fusion. So yeah. Alright. So now he's just going to set both of those. Oh he's gonna play that. Then he's gonna set that. I don't know why. Oh, he's gonna banish two cards to bring this guy out. Then he's gonna play that on him. Wonder why he didn't uh, use use this this card right here. Says so you can banish. Oh, it has to be on a field, right? Oh, she, her her. I guess she has to be on a field to use the effect. Okay, I thought, but she can chump block. In if one of these dies, she can jump block. 
but you know it doesn't matter he takes 3000 of haste so uh come back to us so he put this on here so now he gains uh was that uh 300 so he's gained 300 yeah yeah doesn't matter how much you gain i mean <laughs> cuz remember when he attacks he should have put in defense special oh no he has to normal that okay he has to normal that i was going to say just because of that now he's going to take 3000 in the face we don't have to do anything am i going to do anything i better not do anything Oh, you know what I did? Because <laughs> I drew this guy. I can pitch one card. Remember, when he goes to the graveyard, I can sp special this. But there's no point to special because... Uh... Um... Yeah, I should've did... No, it doesn't matter. They're both... They're both dumb. One just, you know, one... Put a thing on and then the other one just dumb. So, I mean, they both do the same thing. But the other one does... M they both do the same thing because this one dumps from the deck to the, the graveyard and the hand to the graveyard but this one dumps from the deck to the graveyard and special summon from the from the um <coughs> graveyard so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna special summon that <coughs> and uh <coughs> to dump that and then uh do I have? Yeah, oh, okay. So I'm gonna banish this so I can destroy um, that face up. For the heck of it, I don't know why. So I banish that. Okay. So then he chain call from the grave to negate his effect, which is stupid because. He should have let it go because remember when I banish this I have to special summon a monster from my hand. Okay? So when I special summon this, he goes through and he destroys everything. The reason I did this is just to destroy that card. I didn't know what his set card was. But because he didn't know that this guy destroys everything that comes down. Uh, yeah, so everybody, uh, pretty much, uh, have nothing after this. Yep. Because he negated my, um, oops, uh, negated him, I don't have to special summon. Now I got two monsters instead of one. And, uh, and then his effect destroys that one. And then uh, we attack for game, and that's it. And that is, and that is the deck. All right, thanks for watching, man. That was a long video, but uh, that's how we do it. Thanks for watching, man. See you guys in the next. Let's see, let's see who, who other uh, other one we're gonna do. You know, do next. What other gimmicky? <laughs> All right, enjoy.